Now, over the years, we've seen a lot of stories about some people who later on come to tell us that they're involved in some form of publicity stunt. Let's take, for instance, Mimi and Danny Michaels, who's joining us. She, after Big Brother Africa, decided to go, according to the story, pull her panty in front of the Despite building. Later on, years after, Mimi says it was a stunt which was well planned with the presenter and all of that. Now, take Wendy Shea and Bullet. They've also been in the news for allegedly being seen together having sex. Later, they come to say that it was to promote The Boy Is Mine, which was a track that they released. Then fast forward to just this weekend. We saw pictures, beautiful pictures for that matter, of actress Gloria Safo and also actor Miki Osebe Ekun. We thought they were getting married. Per the post, there was a ring emoji and all of that. And then what happened was that we are told later on that this was to promote a movie or a series titled Corona Life. In Nigeria, Blessing Okoro Inkiru, who is also joining us, uh, had her own fresh air where during her 30th birthday celebration, decided to detail a house belonging to someone as it was hers. And uh, it went viral. We saw her talk about it and all of that. We want to have a conversation this morning about publicity stance. Does it help? Is it better? I've heard people say the reason it doesn't help sometimes is the way it's executed. Well, joining us from Nigeria is Blessing uh, in Kirup uh, Okoro. And also here in Ghana, she is a relationship expert and blogger. And of course, she says that she is an intellectual entertainer. I love that name. Giovanni loves it as well. And uh, let's talk about Mimi and Diane Michaels, who is director for Golden Movie Awards right here in Ghana, former representative of Big Brother Africa as well. And then Ola Michaels is an, as a producer, film producer, and an on-air personality. Then also we have entertainment analyst, Anod Asamwa Beidu joining us. You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. All right, so let's start with you, you uh, Mimi. Mimi, you have, you have finally let the cat out of the bag. You say that what we heard from the media, that you went in front of the Despite building to pull a yellow panty, like the story was reported, uh, was just a stance, and it was well planned. Now, fast forward to today. Did that stand? help your career in any way am i hearing the question where are you asking if <coughs> the Sorry. publicity stand help my career in any way yes exactly is that a question yes please yeah. um i know question anything i can't hear her yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's okay, yeah. so so that's exactly what you're saying back to me. That did it help you in any way? Did it boost your career? Well, it did help in a lot of ways because at that time I I was a bit um quiet with um releases of songs and um everybody was asking of me and I was I was not getting any product out. Sometimes, as an artist, you just can't get something out. The fans might be forcing you to bring something, but if it doesn't like coordinate with your feelings, sometimes you can't really bring anything out. And so, you, you and your team need to plan how to sustain you in the mind of the people and in the mind of your fans before you are ready. So, yes, for that stance, it helped people um, have me in mind and our hearts, knowing that Mimi is still there, Mimi is still here, she's still relevant whilst I prepare to be a material for them. So, yes, I was all over, everybody was talking about me. There's nothing like negative publicity, it's how you handle. So yes, it did something for me, a lot, actually. A lot for Mimi. Let's go to Blessing. Blessing, I was in Nigeria at the time when this event happened, and I remember that we're monitoring, and your numbers were just shooting up. I'm sure that just like Mimi, it aided your career in a lot of ways. So I think what you're doing, Blessing, is that you're listening to your television or watching your television. If you can listen to me directly, you'll do us a lot of good. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. No, 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 no Mimi. I'm you. talking to. I can't, I, but I can hear all participants. Okay. Um, Blessing, can you hear us? And when Arnold repeated it for me the first time, I heard him, but I can't hear Miss G. 
Okay, so let's see what we do now. Let's try and mute everybody else but uh, the one who is speaking to us. So, Blessing, can you hear me? Did you hear my question to you, Blessing? Okay, so what I'm saying to you, Blessing, is that at the time that incident happened in Nigeria, it was a big deal. But what I monitored as well was that your numbers kept shooting. People began to follow you. Everybody was curious to know who Blessing in Kiru Okoro known as Blessing CEO was. You still Hello? Have a, yes, you still have a difficulty hearing me? Like, I can't hear anything from this end. I don't know what is even going on. Okay, let's try somebody else and see if we'll get a better result. So let's go to you, Arnold. Arnold has been an advocate of uh, publicity stance. He says he finds nothing wrong with it. And he's always shared his thoughts uh, concerning that, saying that, look, Can I think that her? it is perfect if anybody indulges in publicity stance. Yeah. Arnold, uh, do you still hold that claim? Well... <laughs> I can hardly hear here too, but I mean... Welcome back from the break. We're going to try one more time if we can connect to our participants via Zoom. Uh, we have Mimi and Danny Michaels, if you just tuned in. We have Blessing Inkiru uh, Okoro from I Nigeria. We, we have Ola Michaels. Yours. Can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Inkiru, uh, Blessing, can you hear me now? <laughs> Okay, uh, I think that we're still having some challenges. Uh, Blessing, can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Maybe. Okay, Ola can hear me. Ola, let's start the conversation with you since you can hear. Um, now, the spotlight about this conversation is what just rec recently happened. And it has to do with the pictures that we saw of Miki Osebeku and uh, Gloria Safo trending only to find out that Kwame Bwedi and his team decided to do a, a series to or some series to demystify the myth that we have about coronavirus and it's titled Corona Life. As a movie producer are you enthused about this method of getting our attention to a production like this? Okay in my position as a movie producer if I'm enthused that's e exactly, that's what I'm asking. Okay, good. So, uh, like we started a conversation on uh, 3 FM yesterday. Mm -hmm. Publicity part of the film industry across the even started <laughs> later, uh, 1938, when people even put up 